Happy Monday. Got a busy week ahead. Uh, I'm going to try to document and uh, bring you guys for the whole week. Uh, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> uh, it's very tough to get uh, footage and stuff while we're working and busy, but I'm going to try my best. So uh, it's Monday today, heading to the shop. Uh, weather finally broke. It's no longer hot and humid. It's actually beautiful out right now. Um, it's been literally mid to upper 90s and like 100% humidity for the past like two or three weeks, and it's just been a uh, tough working weather. But uh, finally, it's like it's like 56 this morning. It's gorgeous, and it's supposed to be like 70s and low 80s all week, no humidity. So it should be a great week for working. Um, this week we got uh, got a lot going on, uh, a lot of service calls and uh, cleanings today. We've had to adjust the whole schedule. Uh, so a lot of the cleanings we do like Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we're doing other days. Uh, tomorrow uh, we got a liner uh, we're doing, and then um, probably some service calls on top of that. Um, might be doing a third uh, second liner on Wednesday uh, all depends if it comes in in time it is it has shipped we're just waiting for it so if that comes in we're gonna try to get that done Wednesday Thursday we're gonna finish all our rest of our cleanings for the week and then Friday will be a service call day um, so should be a very busy week um, get a lot going on so uh, I'm gonna take you guys for the ride and we'll see what happens so I'm heading to the shop um, gonna run three trucks today uh, three crews usually we just do two but uh, I'm going to run three crews. I'm going to go out on my own and uh, do my own stuff. So, um, like I said, busy week. So, get, get to it. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. So this pool here is what's called we call green to clean basically we've got algae we're going to clean up and make it clear again so uh, we got some shock in it got some algicide in it uh, clean the filters and then i just brushed the entire pool down and i got the robot working you see the guy over here so you can already see it's starting to light up a little bit uh, i'm going to check the chemicals one more time make sure everything looks good and then we'll let this run for about a day or two and then uh, come back check on it and probably do some vacuuming Today's basically been cleaning pools. I got a couple of green to cleans. Uh, basically that's when we have a pool that's green with algae and we have to clean it up. So um, I've been spending a lot of time uh, trying to get the cleanings done. Uh, we've had to change our schedule around this week. So typically we do cleanings Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, this week we have a liner on Tuesday and a liner on Thursday. So we're trying to get the cleanings done today and on Wednesday. So kind of changing things around a little bit. But uh, basically I've been going around getting my list done today and then uh, the other guys have been doing some too so i haven't got a lot of footage of cleaning it's kind of boring and i'm just trying to trying to get them done so um, nothing crazy today tomorrow will be the good day we get the liner so there'll be a lot more going on so just a little update so i'm all done with my service calls and cleanings and all that stuff for today uh the guys just finished up too um i'm going down to see the new shop i haven't actually i mean i've seen it in years past but i haven't been down there yet this year or seen what it looks like so um we're going down and take a look at it real quick, see what we got to, uh, for space, what we're going to be working with, and uh, probably going to start moving stuff um, probably in about two weeks. Um, and then for those of you who haven't seen or heard the video, I have a couple videos back, I had a shop, uh, like an update video. Um, essentially, we're moving our shop um, to a new location. So uh, if you didn't see that video, it's two videos back. Uh, it's, a, it's an update video I did. So I'll get into more of that in another video, uh, but we are moving our shop. Uh, and it's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. So I'm uh, going down to look at it now. And uh, then I'm heading home. Got some paperwork to do. And then uh, right back at it in the morning. Morning. Tuesday morning. Just waiting for the guys to get in at the shop. Um, I already got one guy who's already came in early. Start draining the pool. We're doing a liner today. So um, just waiting for the other guys to come in. But we're all set, locked and loaded, ready to go. Uh, just need them to get here. <laughs> but not still early. So they got about 15 minutes. So we'll be out here shortly and we'll get this liner going. Thank you. 
All right, here's the liner. Uh, just draining the rest of the water out of here. It's a little loud, so I got gas pump going and uh, some pump going, but we're trying to get the water out of here. They got the shallow end already ripped out. This pool is a little different. It's a six foot um, deep end. It's not an eight foot. They, they brought it up, so it's a little bit shallower. Uh, and then it's got a, uh, it's technically a sand bottom, but it looks like they use stone dust. So it's a concrete wall pool. Older pool, but it looks like it's in good shape. So they're getting the liner out now, and then we'll uh, once the water's out, we'll get the deep end situated, get the new liner prepped, and then uh, water's coming at one o'clock. So we got from eight o'clock to one o'clock to get this thing in. Shouldn't be a problem. So we're pressure testing the main drain real quick just to make sure there's no issues with this guy. We'd hate to put a brand new liner and find out that uh, this line's leaking. So got it plugged here. He's testing from up there and uh, hopefully no issues. But just got to put the wall foam up. And then uh, we got this all refinished. Got to refinish this little part. And that's all set. Shallow line's all set. So. Combining advanced online learning and immersive technology. Clinical experience in the best hospitals and clinics and an expert faculty teaching critical thinking skills and fast clinical judgment. Don't do that. Alright, so liners in, we got the vax going. Probably a little loud, we got two vax going on this one. Basically, it's gonna pull the liner tight and then we'll work out any wrinkles. So you see this wrinkle over here, that should get worked right out with the, uh, the vacuums. So here's the liner all sucked tight. Uh, they're just getting the little wrinkles out with their feet. But everything's tight to the wall and now we can start. I'm uh, gonna get the hose in first. Got to cut in the main drain and then we got two water deliveries coming in about an hour to finish filling this. Uh, we can't cut in anything until we uh, fill it out, uh, fill it up, but looks damn good. So they're just putting the main drain on now, um, putting the new gaskets on, new cover, new everything. So once that's in, we're going to throw the hose in. He's washing off the deck as Tyler's bringing trash out. Uh, we just gotta wait for water at this point. So I'm probably gonna send a few of the guys off to go start doing some service calls. Uh, not bad, it's only 11.21. Not bad. So we got water going in right now. They're using a little sock type thing so it doesn't, uh, this is a, uh, it's not a concrete bottom. So instead of just shooting the water in and causing a divot, uh, they use this little sock device type thing. Uh, it's a really good idea. Uh, saves from the liner getting all messed up underneath. So this is load one of two. Got a pretty long stretch back to the pool on this one. Five hose legs. So we use the same water company for all of our uh, liners, Dalton Water out of Braintree. Uh, really easy to work with. Uh, they've done pretty much all of our liners ever since we got started.
nice clean truck. They sub a lot of their trailers out. They have so many of these tankers, it's not even funny. We've actually done a few jobs for them at their shop. They have a couple holding tank pools, but they have a ton of trailers that are all painted and uh, they got their own rigs too, but um, they're just so busy, they sub a lot of them out. Uh, they probably got like 20 or 30 trailers. So that's gonna be it for this one. Um, we gotta wait one more load of water that just pulled up, but it's half full, got everything cut in, steps are cut in, um, ready to run, just need uh, another load of water, which literally just pulled up. So I'm gonna head out of here. The guys are doing service calls right now and uh, I'm gonna try to do a filter install. Uh, it's gonna be a little late night, but we're gonna try to get it done. So it's uh, two o'clock now. So we'll be out here shortly. So we're uh, gonna put in a filter system real quick, a little upgrade job for our weekly customer that we uh, have done a lot of work for. Um, guys are just finishing up on their service calls. David's gonna come and meet me in a little bit and uh, help me here. But I uh, figured while we're out, get this job done too, so. Got myself a little coffee, need a little boost, about 3.30. So we'll uh, knock this out and hopefully be back at the shop by five. So we're gonna take out this old DE filter. Uh, pump to install a new sand filter and a new energy efficient pump that's the goal so should be a pretty easy install just gonna do a little bit of uh, plumbing work Well, nothing ever goes easy. So we have an issue with this pump trip and the breaker and uh, this is the second time we've had this exact same pump do this. So I think there's something going on with these new pumps. Um, so these are the new Hayward XE pumps. Um, this one's brand new out of the box, just got it today. We had another one last week, brand new out of the box, like literally brand new. Uh, we wired them everything completely the right right way. Um, the old pump was working completely fine on here. Wired this 100% the way it was supposed to, and the second it turns on, it trips trips immediately. Um, I'm not sure if it's something with the new pumps. I'm really not sure. Basically, these are supposed to be the exact same kind of like drop-in option of the regular super pump, from what I've understood, but I, I don't know. So, anyways, we're going to get a regular super pump. I have one at the shop. Um, it's now... 537 so a lot later than i wanted to work but at least we can get this done filters all set we just got to put the new pump in and uh hopefully that solves the problem and uh, unfortunately they're not going to have a Hayward xe pump these are basically a high medium low pump so you can change the speeds um and as a fan of the back other than that it's just basically a regular old hayward super pump but i'm not sure what's going on with these things this is the second one that we've had that's done this so maybe it's something we're doing but i really don't think so everything was wired the exact way it's supposed to and I don't know. So, anyways, I'm gonna solve the problem. David's uh, on his way back with the new one. So, just place it later than we wanted to work. So, we're kind of working off the existing plumbing here. This is a very basic pool, not the cleanest system. You know, I wouldn't, I'd switch some things around if it was me that was building the pool. But we did this liner last year. Very basic pool, two skimmers, two returns, two skimmers, and then both returns on the same line. So if I did this, I would have had two separate lines for the returns, not just one. So, but basically we just hooked into the existing line. We hooked into the existing backwash line and then the pump's gonna go right there. So pretty simple system. Uh, like I said, I would have done a little differently if I built it, but we had to connect into what was there and make it work. So um, when we, anytime we do plumbing, we try to do individual lines on everything. So. Uh, separate skimmers each kind of like this one has but we do the same thing on the return so but it's all inch and a half too i would would rather see it two inch but it is what it is so Well, that's a wrap. Put a new pump on here. This one's just a three-quarter horsepower super pump, nothing fancy. Great pressure. 
and the jets are flowing really strong. So we got this one in the deep end pointed down. You can't really see, but you can see the shallow end here is cranking. So a small pool doesn't need anything big. Uh, that's gonna make a huge difference though from the old filter. Like I said, we did this liner last year, so it's only a year old, and this is a weekly service customer we've had for forever. So great customer and a very easy pool to maintain, especially now that's got a new system on it. Well, that's our wrap for today. Well, not yet, I guess. I got to clean the trailer out, uh, and I got all my paperwork to do. So it's uh, 6 30 right now. So I probably got about a half hour here cleaning up, organizing. So I'll be out of here about 7. Go home, eat dinner real quick. Hopefully, get on the computer by 7 30, 8 o'clock, and then uh, so it'll be for the rest of the night. So welcome to life of a pool guy during the summer. <laughs> but it's all for. Uh, good cause uh very busy week this week and then uh, i'm going away for well basically the weekend and take a monday off so and then my honeymoon's in two weeks so <laughs> i have something to work towards um it hasn't been this busy the last couple of weeks uh, we've been busy but not like we are this week you know we haven't done any crazy 12 hour days we've been just doing like regular eight or nine hour days but um today it just there's so much to do with the liner we did that filter system um, the other guys did uh they did two service calls each so we got four service calls done on top of everything today so very productive day i cannot complain at all uh tomorrow uh tomorrow's wednesday tomorrow's gonna be a cleaning marathon uh we're gonna get all the rest of our weekly cleanings done all in one day tomorrow so uh, generally we break them up usually about 10 a day um throughout the week but uh thursday we need uh the whole day for a liner project and then friday we need for service calls so uh, we're gonna all break up. Um, I'm gonna do my own list. David's gonna take a list and Ryan's gonna take a list and we'll break it up 10 each uh, Which shouldn't be bad at all and uh, we'll just get all the cleanings done tomorrow. So uh, That'll be tomorrow and then Thursday we get another pretty big liner uh, same size pool as the one we just did today But it's got um, steps with liner that's over it as we've never done one of those before So this will be our first one. Um, we don't know what the base is. Uh, the base today was a stone dust type mix um, I think this one might be a sand mix. I have no idea. It's tough to see. So, uh, but whatever. Either way, we've mastered liners. The liner came out awesome today. The customer was beyond happy. And that's, at the end of the day, it's all that matters. So, all right. I am uh, going to get some stuff done here and uh, get out of here and go home. Long day. So, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Morning, guys. Um, at the shop. Been doing uh, paperwork all morning. I got my iPad out. Um, just booked Oh. 10 or 11 pool closings and i got a few more requests so really ramping up on that even though it's the beginning of august but um guys are off already um, i'm heading out very shortly i got uh six pools to clean today uh they each have 10 so we have um what are we doing 20 26 pool cleanings and two service calls so busy 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 day uh we got a big liner project tomorrow and uh some more service calls tomorrow and all that stuff so I'm going to be heading out of here shortly, just catching up on paperwork. Uh, we did some stuff at the shop this morning. We got back real late last night, so uh, cleaned up, got organized, and got out on the way. So um, I'll be heading out shortly, get some uh, pools clean. Probably won't get a lot of footage today. Cleans are kind of boring, but that's going to be the day. So we'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm all done with my cleanings. I didn't get any footage today. Just put my head down and get through them. Um, got six of them done. Guys are still out working. It's uh, just before 3 o'clock. Um, they each got, I think, two more one more i don't know they're almost done with their list so they'll be back here soon um what i'm doing right now just because uh i'm gonna be away in two weeks for a week um and we're gonna start getting really busy with pool closings um right when i get back almost um i gotta start kind of going through uh, my inventory for winter supplies and uh, all that kind of stuff um it's crazy i actually got two pool closings booked for next this coming monday which is august 7th <laughs> so uh, we get into this time of year where like a lot of people just either don't want to pay for the pool anymore so they shut them down or they start you know pools turn green and they just don't want to deal with it so they just close it or they're going on vacation there's always excuses but we do uh usually about i don't know five to ten closings in august and then obviously the rest all in uh, september but uh this year you know we've already been booking them like crazy this year the beginning of september is actually the fullest it's ever been uh the first two weeks right after labor day are pretty much booked out already for closing so uh we're gonna jump right into it real quick so um basically i gotta go through all my inventory just make sure see what i got for one 
and then what we need to order. Um, we need a ton of antifreeze for pools, uh, winter plugs, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's a pretty big order. Usually it's a couple pallets worth of stuff. Um, but I, I do got stuff left over from last year, stuff like that. So I do got to take a quick inventory while I'm here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do. So we got a big liner job again tomorrow. I got the liner in here loaded. Everything's loaded in the trailer. The trailer's a mess, but I got the liner for tomorrow. Wall form, all that stuff, tools. Um, so that's all done. Uh, the other thing I want to do is kind of start getting a plan to move the shop. Uh, we got to start getting stuff to the new shop. So um, we got to come up with a game plan. So I think I'm going to have the guys, while I'm gone, I'm going to have them move. Um, well, at least, you know, kind of give them busy work a couple days. So, you know, like taking the snow stuff over, you know, the salt spreader up there can go. Um, any of the big stuff can go. Um, and then we got all like the little supplies stuff that are in this uh, container here that we uh, think what we're going to do for now is we have a storage unit. We're going to move everything at storage unit. We'll get the container moved because everybody that we've talked to, has, it has to be empty to move it. So going to get it empty and then we'll, uh, we'll move it out of here. So we got some serious groundwater on this one. Um, we're thinking this might be from the pool leaking, all the water that got underneath it. But uh, there's a lot of groundwater. You can actually see it seeping in over here a little bit. So I'm going to work with that, get it all out. But like I said, I think it was from it leaking, all the water getting behind the liner. All right, well, all right, well, today was interesting. Um, as you notice, I didn't get a lot of footage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we uh, got the liner out. We knew it was a sand bottom, so we were expecting, you know, that, and that's exactly what we found. Um, I kind of expected groundwater just because we've had so much rain, and sure enough, we had groundwater. So what ended up happening, I didn't get much footage today. So basically what happened, we got all the way down to the deep end, got it drained out, we are getting the last like little bit of water out of the deep end and as we're stepping on it, it's squishy. So there was like six inches of water underneath the liner. So, um, you know, obviously groundwater. The only other thing we were thinking that it could have been, it could have been from the liner leaking, getting behind the pool, whatever. It, it was definitely one of the two. And it was coming in pretty quick. So managed it, put a pump in there, drained it all out, kept, you know, kept the pump going, did everything we needed to do. We literally had at one point two pumps going and we actually had our shop back just trying to keep up with the moisture coming in and it was just coming and coming and coming and coming. It wasn't stopping. So, um, you know, it seemed like it was actually getting, obviously when the liner is out, there's no pressure to hold the groundwater back. So it, it gets worse. So, um, we kind of had to make a quick decision to get it in quick. So we, uh, basically dug a little bit of a pit, put, you know, put the sump pump in it, finished what we could, you know, resurfaced everything. Everything looked awesome, was nice and tight. Um, and just left the pump in, just sucking the groundwater out, put the liner in, we were able to climb into the shallow, uh, the deep end with the liner in and the pump's still going. Um, I was able to pull the pump out real quick, finish over the pump, you know, pack it all in. And then we put the liner in and got water going immediately, like literally within five minutes. Worked out great, you know, no issues. Got the vacuum on, everything was nice and tight. Water was filling, no issues. Water truck shows up. We already have probably at this point 800 gallons of water in the pool. It's been running for two, three hours. No issues. Everything looks great. Water truck starts filling it. And all of a sudden, we're starting to notice like little divots kind of starting to form on the walls of the pool, um, like on the slopes, which made no sense to us because, you know, that was all packed in tight and it was dry, nothing. So what we think happened, the only thing makes sense, and then what's weird is the bottom, was we were down there in the pool at one point and it was fine. We think that the groundwater kept coming in after it was filling, and since it was filling so slow, 
what it did is it forced the groundwater up and when it started filling quick it just pushed it up and it caused I, I don't know but either way I called the customer I had him come out I explained him the situation you know we were dealing with groundwater if you want us to manage it we have to take the liner out we have to deal with it we have to you know put it in a sump pump and you know channel drain it everything you know we're gonna be there for a couple days getting this thing to dry out it's gonna be a process and just you know it's gonna cost a lot of money uh, that was option one option two is we live with it because it wasn't that bad i mean it was enough where like this little bit of you know it's it's not perfectly smooth we'll put it that way it's enough where you can't even see it if you're not looking for it but obviously like we like really like it perfect so um he decided to go with that option and i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna throw in a little bit of a discount on the uh final bill just for the inconvenience it doesn't look perfect but um he was pretty cool with it so we can finish filling it everything was fine at that point we got to the steps and um the steps obviously we had two truckloads come in so we still need about a foot of water in the pool to reach the top step so it's still filling right now um but i couldn't get all the wrinkles out because of that you know so i have to go back tomorrow uh the steps fit pretty damn good um i'll be honest this was our first one that we did the liner that goes over the steps so it was the first time for me ever doing that and uh when we had the vacuum on everything tight it actually looked perfect and uh we actually shut the vacuum off i think too early and uh, there wasn't enough water pressure and we got a couple wrinkles that we were fighting so there's like one or two little minor wrinkles that i'm 99 sure are going to come out once the water pressure is pushing ba them back but whatever but other than that i mean it came out perfect and you know as you saw probably the last shot of me walking around the pool i mean unless i told you about these issues you would never have noticed it so um like i said this is stuff we do every day so we're, we're nitpicky about it but um this was also our first time dealing one with groundwater two with a sand bottom pool and three with liner over stairs so for the first time ever in my career doing this and it wasn't just my first time it was everybody's first time you know <laughs> got ryan who has 10 years experience david who was six my i have 15 we haven't really done any ground pool liners until this year this was this is only our sixth or seventh one so um we learned something today and uh that's you know not trying to this isn't a big rant here to end the day but um at the end of the day you know we all you know we went out to the truck you know away from the customer we talk about it and you know we're proud of what we did because we learned something we had to figure out an issue you know we got through the issue and we learned you know and that's what life's all about is learning you know you make a mistake you learn from it you know and in this situation we didn't really make a mistake uh which is an unexpected you know groundwater and it's in our contract and it's something that any liner install will tell you you got to deal with groundwater especially in the spring when the water table's high and we've had 13 inches of rain in the past month so it makes sense you know um, and especially if this pool's been leaking you know six seven inches a day all that water's got to go somewhere so it does make sense uh, but it was our first time so but anyways um that's why i didn't get a lot of footage today all in all though liner came out great no issues you know besides the ground water that you know everything fit fine um you know we obviously got the measuring down perfect because we've had every single liner we've done has fit perfect so um so yeah but it's late day it's almost four o'clock um i just got back to the shop um tyler dave uh tyler dave she's tyler's already gone he went home early um <laughs> the part-timers are gone uh, i got um ryan and uh david they're out uh doing two quick service calls the plan is right now today's thursday the plan is i'm giving the guys a day off tomorrow um one because they've worked so hard you know they deserve it two you know it is summer i want them to enjoy it and three I'm going away as well so it just makes sense that we just you know we worked our butts off this week we got two liners done we got all our cleanings done in one day yesterday which is a record so we busted our ass they're already on 40 hours anyways they're they're already at overtime and it's thursday so <laughs> you know even if we don't work tomorrow they, they already got some overtime this week so but i'm giving them a paid day off tomorrow anyways um they deserve it um it's little things that you know that go a long way you know i appreciate the guys i appreciate everything they do you know working out in the hot sun and you know I just, you know, want them to enjoy this summer a little bit. I know I'm going away tomorrow. I'm going up to Maine. Um, I think actually both of them are going somewhere too. So, like, I want them to actually enjoy this summer, and I want to be able to, you know, pay them for a day off so they can enjoy it. So um, we're not working tomorrow. I I am going to have to work. I'm not going away till the afternoon, but I'm going to have to go back to this liner tomorrow. i got to install one return fitting. Uh, there wasn't – it just there wasn't enough water pushing it back enough in that area. It's on the steps. So i got to put that in. Um, and then uh i got one other thing to do i think i think i got a quick service call and then i gotta deal with this <laughs> um i've had so many, i don't know what it is all of a sudden if it's just the weather but like literally you probably can't see this i got probably 30 emails and service requests today so which is fine i mean we got uh we got time on the schedule but it's next week the problem is 
it's Thursday, everybody expects these to be done by the weekend, and it's absolutely not happening. Even if we were working tomorrow, it's not happening. So um, we're gonna have to, they'll be done next week. So gonna have a busy week with service next week, and we got another liner to do next week that uh, just is, is on its way in now. It should be in by Monday, so. Um, so yeah, all in all, that's a little wrap of the day. Sorry that took about eight minutes of your time, and if you listen to all that, great. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna end the video yet. I got still got one more day of the week, so. But uh, just giving you a little update what happened today. <laughs> Back at the line of job, got the pull up and running. You see the flow of the water coming out. And I uh, got the last return on the stairs cut in. You probably can't see it from here, but that one's running too. So this one's done. Well, that's gonna do it for uh, this week. Um, I had just that one little thing to do at that line we did yesterday. I had to cut in the return on the stairs and then just check, you know, make sure all the wrinkles are out. So, pool looks good. I uh, got it up and running. Um, so, I think uh, they should be pretty happy. So, um, but that was all I had to do today. I got to run back to the shop, do a couple things, get ready for next week. Um, I'm taking off this afternoon to go to Maine for the weekend. Uh, I gave, I think I mentioned in yesterday's video, I don't know, um, but I gave the guys a paid day off today. Uh, kind of like a vacation day. Uh, they deserve it. You know, my whole philosophy is, you know, you take care of the ones that take care of you. And uh, the guys have really been working their butts off this summer. And, you know, some are coming to a close in a couple weeks. Um, you know, they deserve at least one day off, you know, paid to go do what they want and enjoy summer, you know. So they'll have a three-day weekend this weekend. Um, so uh, they definitely appreciated it. Um, and it definitely, you know, you really got to take care of you guys. So any business owners out there, you know, the little things really do count. You know, buying them lunch, buying them coffees letting them go home early, pay days off, stuff like that. It goes a long way. And uh, I've noticed it over the years. When you do that kind of stuff, they appreciate it and they work harder, you know. Um, so, uh, but yeah, they're off today. Um, I'm going to the shop now just to I gotta unload my truck, um, organize for Monday. Uh, believe it or not, we actually have two pools we're closing Monday. Um, I'm going to be in Maine still. I'm staying up there till uh, Monday afternoon. But um, the guy's going to take care of all that stuff. They have two pools, pools to close Monday and uh, a bunch of service calls. Um, Similar week next week, we have a liner to do Wednesday, uh, the cleanings, a bunch of service calls. Uh, and then, uh, you know, after after next week, I think we're going to start moving the shop. Um, I'm going on my honeymoon in two weeks, so next week's my last week here, and then I'm gone for a week. The week I'm gone, I'm going to have the guys do a lot of the move, so um, I probably won't document it, unfortunately, because I'm not going to be here to document it, but at least we'll, we'll have some of the stuff at the new shop, so... Um, a lot going on, and then we have two weeks left in August, and then uh, the minute September hits, it's uh, pool closing. That's all we're going to be doing. I mean, we'll have some service calls here and there, but um, the pool closing schedule is packed already. So, season went quick. It's not over yet, obviously, but it's it, it's flying. Um, so, but enough of me ranting. Uh, I'm going to the shop. Hope you guys like this video. I know it's probably a long one, but a little bit what we did this week. Um, and I'll try to continue keeping these videos going. Um, and I mention it all the time, but if you want to follow us daily, see what we're doing, uh, follow us on Instagram, Crowley Pool Services. Uh, you'll see, you know, like the, the liner job we did yesterday. I've made plenty of posts on that. Everything we do every day, I try to post at least once, twice a day. And if we do a big projects, so I usually do update videos throughout the day. So if you want to follow us, see what we're doing, um, definitely jump over to Instagram. So, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, don't want to sound like a typical YouTuber, but hit the subscribe button. It does help. <laughs> See you guys.